Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining this talk today. I'm Hurye Khalaizadeh from Deakin University in Melbourne, Australia. And in this talk, I'm going to present my recent idea together with Professor John Grundy from Monash University and Dr. Jennifer McIntosh from the University of Melbourne on designing collaborative human-centered care plans to improve the quality of life for people living with chronic diseases. Chronic health conditions are becoming more and more prevalent these days because of the population aging and also because of the advancement in the early detection and treatment of different medical conditions such as cancer. To improve the patient quality of life, chronic health conditions need to be managed properly. Chronic disease management relies on care plans to help patients. A care plan outlines a person's healthcare needs, associated service providers, care management arrangements, future reassessment needs, as well as their goals and preferences. Um, and it also involves the person who's the target end user and also the carer, family members, um, clinicians or educators who are the stakeholders. Um, care plans need to be individualized and adaptable and also need to allow collaboration between different stakeholders. Um, however, most care, um, existing care plans provide static um, document-based one-way care plans or basically a one-size-fits-all approach. Therefore, um, there is a critical need to provide collaborative platforms um, using technologies such as mobile applications to facilitate communication and also to develop tailored care plans. Um, this will provide an opportunity to allow vulnerable people to connect with domain experts, healthcare clinicians and carers, and to access the necessary resources and long-term planning information. And uh, there have been many applications being developed to solve this kind of health related issues, but they often don't take into account users preferences and um, human centric aspects. Um, another challenge with um, healthcare application is that they um, the exchange of the information between the patients and treating cl uh, clinicians um, is not easy because they speak different languages and use different terms such as unfamiliar medical terms and also because of the cultural barriers between the patients and um, practitioners. Uh, we present a novel vision for uh, modeling and generating collaborative model mobile applications to help um, individuals experiencing serious health challenges to design and manage their own care plans, um, ultimately to improve their quality of life. Um, let's consider cancer care planning as an example. Um, cancer treatment includes not only the treatment, but also the immediate post-treatment phase and long-term survivorship, as you can see in the image. Um, after cancer treatment, people enter a survivorship phase where um, they no longer have active disease, but they might have cancer or treatment-related problems. Um, treatment phase involves treatment appointment uh, management, such as radiology, specialist appointments, exercise reminders, um, nutritional advice, clinical support from nurses, support group connections, and so on. And then immediate post-treatment phase includes uh, things like connecting with post-treatment care, such as delayed side um, effects, post-management mental care and health care, getting back to health programs and so on. And finally, we have long-term survivorship phase, uh, which includes a general practitioner or specialist appointments, um, the reminders for the appointments, mental health, peer support groups, and so on. Um, there has been some work on the importance of the survivorship care plan. For example, the Australian Cancer Survivorship Center recommend um, survivorship care plans to manage health care and concerns, um, increase adherence to medical surveillance, and improve communication with healthcare providers. In 2005, um, the National Research Council recommended survivorship um, care plans for cancer survivors after completing primary treatments. 
But then in 2016, another report reflected on the progress made um, and the fact that there is um, still a lot of work needed. Um, as you can see, the different activities, lots of different activities and potential items to be included in a care plan. And this makes um, designing a care plan very complicated. And also um, it means that a user-centered approach should be very effective at identifying important features. Therefore, we propose the idea of having the patients actively involved in designing their own um, care plans. And to this end, we aim to invent a common language between patients and practitioners by designing a set of new domain-specific visual languages for end users to be able to effectively communicate um, their specific needs and preferences with their caregivers and clini uh, clinicians and any associated allied health professional. Um, care planning specific visual languages will provide a common language for requirement specification and modeling of the end user's needs. Um, through co and then through co-design sessions, um, human-centric aspects will be incorporated in the domain-specific visual languages in order to design the care plans based on not only the domain, but also the end users' um, characteristics such as age, gender, physical and mental impairments, preferences, culture, um, language, and so on. And the end users and their caregivers, family and friends um, will collaboratively work with health practitioners um, such as general practitioners, nurses, specialists and allied health professionals to design their own care plans. Um, and they will be able to choose the key features they want to include in their specific care plan. Um, we finally plan to use model-driven engineering approaches to generate the um, tailored care plan support applications for each end user. Model-driven engineering approaches will be used to convert the visual-based elements um, that are designed based on the end user's characteristics and individual features um, into individualized care plans um, as mobile applications. Um, in this slide, I'm presenting the key steps that we are planning to use in order to achieve the objectives of this research. These um, include developing a novel set of care plan modeling domain-specific visual languages. Um, and in order to achieve that, we first need to develop human-centric principles for the design and evaluation of the visual languages. We will co-design the language in different domains and we'll finally evaluate and improve them. The second step is to design a collaborative recommender tool and to support co-creation by practitioners and end users. The proposed domain-specific visual languages um, will be equipped, the suite of visual languages will be equipped with a recommender that uses machine learning methods to learn from the user's behaviors and preferences to guide them through the through using the visual notations. And then the recommended tool will be a web-based web um, collaborative tool where users can work on the visual notations and diagrams um, simultaneously. Usability tests need to be run with real end users and clinicians. And uh, finally, the web-based tool needs to have accessibility related plugin, uh, plugins for visually or hearing impaired users. And the third step is to develop mobile app generator uh, to create personalized care plans. It also generates reports, documentations, as well as applications uh, from the models. And finally, we aim to run evaluations on various real world examples. Um, here you see a high-level overview of our approach to supporting the end-user deployment of care plans for the cancer care study example you saw earlier. In this approach, um, first clinicians and end-users provide the required information and decide on the features such as XM appointment and medication reminders, connecting to cancer survivors and family friend catch-ups, planning, um, entertainment, hearing, visualization, plugins, and so on. 
using domain specific visual languages and um, the recommended collaborative tool. In the second step, an application for the patient and a web-based um, interface for the clinicians are automatically generated using users' input through model-driven engineering approaches. And finally, in the third step, users use the application and update its features um, if required, and these steps are iteratively repeated. And to summarize, I've proposed a vision for collaborative human-centered mobile application care planning development platforms using uh, domain-specific visual languages and model-driven engineering. Um, using a novel set of domain-specific visual languages and collaborative tools, end users um, living with chronic conditions can specify their requirements and communicate with domain experts and clinicians to co-design and generate personalized care plan mobile applications for a better quality of life. The proposed domain specific visual languages will be designed in a way that can um, capture different human centric aspects, such as age, gender, culture, language, and physical and mental impairment. Thank you so much for listening to my talk and I'm happy to take questions.